Dan here, I'm a new industry trainer at the Future Fit Academy in Mackay. My role here at the Future Fit Academy is teaching new industry students the rundown of what's going to happen when they're out on a mine site. It's a place that sort of brings you in and shows you pretty much step-by-step -step process of everything that you need to know, even just the most basic things. It gives you the confidence so when you go out to mine you know what you're in for. At the Academy we're here for three swings, so seven on, seven off, and then we're out on site for 12 months. For the first two swings we're on day shift just to familiarise ourselves and also get a feel for the place and then after that we're back on our normal swings. We've got modules on the computer that we're doing. We do the same thing about three times or so and it enforces it until it becomes second nature, I guess. The trainees that thrive try and take on board as much as they can and just doing their homework on their days off and coming back with all that still fresh in their mind. I feel a little bit nervous about reversing the truck and then letting the load out. I guess that's where the simulator will come in handy. That's apparently very similar and very lifelike. When you first turn out on site, you're not going to be by yourself, obviously. There's always going to be someone there to hold your hand to get you through. You really need to have a think about what goes on in a coal mine. It all looks good when you see it on a TV screen, but in real life, it's a pretty dusty environment. You're away from home half your life. So being aware of not only the good side, but have a look at maybe what's going on in the background. Coal and everything is such a big part of what we do every day. And so it's nice to think what we're doing is actually impacting the whole world, really. Once they leave the site here and they go out on site, there's a hundred hours with a trainer, but they'll be sitting beside a fully competent, qualified, like guru truck driver for hundreds of hours. Being with someone for a hundred hours, I liked it because they definitely did show you a lot. It doesn't seem that long, but by the hundred hours, you should know what to do. They break everything down. They don't rush you. It's at your own pace. so. It takes you longer than someone else. They're, they're patient. Parts of it were quite difficult, especially doing night shifts was a big adjustment and just being away from home. But you soon get used to it because you get to know everybody here and it's like your, your work family, basically. I think it was a really easy transition coming through Future Fit, considering other people come into the mining, just thrown into the deep end. BHP, I find, is very supportive, especially to women in mining and always looking for your personal development. Don't limit yourself. You might be a truck driver for six months or eight months, but you could be running the whole mine. The senior site executive within a couple of years, you'd have the opportunity to keep doing some schooling and keep bettering yourself, and you could just be whatever you want to be.